Hi, it's Steve O'Hare from Signal Centre Acuity. Today is Tuesday, the 30th of August, 2022. We're looking at the market alert and this week it's NASDAQ. We're going to take a look, drill down into the multi timeframes. Also take a look at the new sentiment analysis and see if it marries up um, to what we're looking at or what we're seeing on the technical side of things. So I'll start with a weekly chart and then drill down to the lower time frames. This is the weekly chart and we can see we're in a bearish channel. Uh, last week, we saw the market break down back into this bearish channel. We popped out um, on the week of 8th of August, uh, but saw those gains given up the following week and we're back down into the channel uh, from last week. So uh, started off this week around uh, trading around last week's close, last Friday's close. And yeah, uh, looks like we've re um, made a uh, rejection, technical rejection from a move above 13,700. Now the daily chart has been showing this corrective channel in a little bit more detail. We've uh, The channel's been formed by the swing lows. Um, uh, in particular, the first three points we've got here form that channel and we are able to um, move this channel up to the uh, the highs basically that we saw in August. We saw multiple days where we were making new highs in August. Price action stalled at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement lever, uh, level and we posted this reversal formation. This is an evening doji star formation, a three candle formation at that 61.8% Fib. And with the uh, multiple highs in this channel formation, that gave us a good indication that we were seeing a topping formation. That topped out at 13,724. And since then, we've seen this first wave down, a little bit of a correction higher, up back up to 13,200. And then this really aggressive down day that we saw on Friday. That is really negative, breaking through uh, the previous resistance turned into support and taking out the 12,800 support level also. Now, price action yesterday was a bank holiday in the UK, but um, US markets obviously uh, traded and we saw prices spike down to a low of 12,400, around about there, before rallying. Now we've, um, we've seen now a break below this channel and it's really important to get some follow through on the downside uh, for this technical uh, play to carry on. Now, what I'd like to show is the four hour chart. Now, this is the the top information. This is a head and shoulders formation. And uh, we can see that um, over the last, uh, well, since Friday, we've broken down through the neckline. We've looked like we were going to retest the neckline. However, we've stalled around 12,650. This was previous uh, resistance back all the way back on the 27th uh, to the 22nd of July. And we're reversing down from here. So uh, looking quite negative as we start this week from a UK perspective or two days into it from a US perspective. Um, so yeah, looking overall like further downside is possible. A little formation that I highlighted this morning was the uh, potential for a bearish flag formation. Um, this uh, highlighted the chance of a rally initially up to the 12.650 and it's actually nailed it. The rally's happened and now we're seeing further downside. So this could be a really nice bearish flag formation playing out. The measured move to this formation would be a move down towards 11,840. That's the flagpole here extending downwards. And that would be um, pretty significant overall. Let's try and get some fibs on here and just see exactly where the Fibonacci uh, support resistance levels would be. If we take the, the rally that we saw and we add in the really uh, important Fibonacci retracements level, we can see that we bounced off a 50% fib, and uh, but the 61.8 is the one to really have your eye on. That's just above the 12,000 level and uh, just above the measured move target for this bearish flag formation, which is playing out rather nicely at the moment. So from a new sentiment perspective, let's take a look at the NASDAQ on here. We can see that um, over the last 24 hours, 
use sentiment has moved bearish. It was 100% uh, positive prior to that. Um, and we can see that uh, on the 27th, we've got this um, market alert showing that a 40% confidence uh, that in the last 10 occurrences, price has fallen within nine days. Uh, and we can see prices moving down from there, new sentiment moving down from there on the seven day EMA perspective. So we are in negative territory from a new sentiment perspective. So that does marry up with the technical formation that we're currently seeing. So I hope that's been informative. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to joining you again next week. But for this week, the uh, price action on NASDAQ looks bearish and further downside is expected. Thanks very much.